It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Lord Chambry out there in Malta and it's a bottle of their winter ale coming in at 8% ABV. You can just see by the liquid through the bottle. It is a darkish bottle but it looks like a, for me, an amber, dark amber coloured ale. There's the look of the bottle cap. They've re, they've changed their bottle caps by the looks of things since the last time I had a beer from these guys. And I'd like to say a massive thank you to Neil Long for sending me this beer. Neil Long, holidays in Malta. He's from Liverpool Way in the UK. And, and he's kind enough to bring me the beer back from Lord Chambry. Uh, so thank you very much for that, uh, Mr. Neil Long. Um, thanks for the support. And off we go. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that looks nice. Now they're talking about here in Malta, when the weather turns cold, it's time to welcome a, a real winter warmer of a beer with spices and a malty backbone. I've only ever been to Malta once. It was baking hot in, in August. I can't imagine it being, being cold, you know. Of course, I've not been in the winter, so how would I know? But um, a winter ale it must be, it must, it must get down to chilly temperatures of about 15 degrees. Not like our British winters going down to minus 5, minus 10. <laughs> um, good levels of carbonation, murky, hazy coloured ale. Looks very nice. It hasn't developed much of a head. Um, let's get the aroma. Deep mahogany coloured beer. Oh, that smells fantastic. Wow. Honey. Spice. Maybe some ginger. Biscuit malt. Maybe some Belgian candied sugar added to the beer. That smells like, it smells like winter. It, it smells like a damp winter forest with a cold wind blowing through it. Right, here we go, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Yeah, Stone the Crows, got to put that down. Stone the Crows, what a fantastic beer then. Quite a rich beer. Good on the mouthfeel, rich in flavour. Uh, sits on the palate, it's a little bit thicker than their beers normally, but it is 8% ABV, it is a winter ale. You would expect that, certainly with the honey added. Um, there's, there's a nice touch of ginger, maybe some coriander. There's definitely some Belgian candied sugar coming through in there, a little bit of sweetness, but then there's biscuitiness, there's breadiness, spices on the back end, a little bit of pepperiness. It's a wonderful, wonderful beer. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, these, these people know what they're doing in the brewing world. If you're ever lucky enough to have the Norwegian brewery, Lysjefjord Microbrewery, if you've, if you've had their um, some of their winter kind of spice tales. This this represents something very close to that. It's almost like drinking a, one of their Norwegian winter beers. That, that it's just a beautiful beer. Um, I have it every year. They send me a bottle for Christmas every year, and I have it mainly with my Christmas dinner or just after my Christmas dinner. And blow me, I've forgotten the. The name of the beer, but anyway, it's not about Elijah Fjordan's beer. This is about uh, a, a Maltese beer. I'm just saying how close it resembles some of that lovely winter sweet uh, Norwegian beer. Look at the way if you rock the beer back and forth. Look at that w wonderful, wonderful carbonation there, chasing the 
small head of the glass. Looks fantastic. So something very, very different then from Lord Chambry. The winter rail. Comments in the comments box. I'm really interested. I don't want to Google it because I like your own thoughts. I like I like what you guys tell me. How cold does it get in Malta in the winter? For it must get quite cold to produce beers like this. What do they say about it? Kind uh, of by a fireplace, uh, higher alcohol, uh, spices, uh, multi backbone. Uh, uh, notes of spices, yeah, um, toffee, caramel, licorice, definitely some licorice in there. The ingredients are malted barley, hops, yeast, local honey, dark candy sugar, there we go, that's that. They've called it dark candy sugar, whether that's uh, uh, the Belgium candy sugar, I think it might be, uh, and spices, it's wonderful. Very different take on, they normally do kind of like IPAs and red ales and I've had, a, I've had a lager from them and I've had a salt beer as well, something salt rock beer I've had from these guys, wonderful stuff. So have a look in my upload section, it'd probably be over there and just put in Lord Chambry and you'll be able to see the beers that I've reviewed from these guys. But this is a great addition to their collection, uh, to their range of beers. I like that enough. I'm going to give that a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.